This example involving red candies will demonstrate the exact method in Minitab Express. Here's our scenario. A candy manufacturer claims that 15% of the candies in their multicolored candy pack are red. You believe that this is an overestimate. In a random sample of 30 pieces of candy, three were red. Is there evidence that the percent of red candies in the population is less than 15%? First, we need to determine if we can use the normal approximation method or the exact method. In order to use the normal approximation method, both n times p and n times 1 minus p would need to be greater than or equal to 10. In this scenario, n times p equals 30 times 0 0.15, which is 4.5. This is less than 10, so we cannot use the normal approximation method. Instead, we're going to use the exact method. Let's go to Minitab Express. Here, I'm going to conduct a one sample proportion test. I have summarized data. Recall in our sample, there were three red candies out of a total of 30. The hypothesized proportion was 15% or 0 0.15. Under options, I need to change the alternative hypothesis because our research question was whether there was evidence that the population proportion is less than 0.15. This is a left tail test. n times p was less than 10, so we're going to use the exact method, which is the default setting in Minitab Express. Here's our output. Let's use this to walk through the five-step hypothesis testing procedure. In step one, we write our hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is that p equals 0 0.15. Our alternative hypothesis is that p is less than 0 0.15. In step two, we would normally find our test statistic. Because we're using the exact method, we do not have a test statistic in this case. We can skip ahead to step three, where we state the p-value. Here, our p-value is 0 0.3217. Step four, decide between the null and alternative hypotheses. We compare our p-value to the alpha level. We'll use a standard alpha level of 0 0.05. Because our p-value is greater than 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Step five, we state a real-world conclusion. There is not evidence to state that in the population of all candies, less than 15% are red. We do not have evidence to refute the manufacturer's claim.